Ni hujambo popote pale ulipo karibu kwa taarifa za mbiu ya KTN jina langu ni Mary Atuli. Mgombe mwenza wa Azimio Martha Karua ameendelea na ziara yake ya kupigia debe mrengo huo katika eneo la Mlima Kenya huko kizuru maeneo ya Chuka na Marimanti kuanzia leo asubuhi. Karua alihutubia wananchi katika maeneo kadhaa na kuelezea umuhimu wa kupiga kura kupigia kura mrengo wa Azimio la Umoja. Hata sasa ni wengi wanauliza na ni wachache watapata. Kwa hivyo hakuna mtu anaweza chaguliwa akisema aliahidiwa. Ahadi za siasa hasina maana. Lakini wakati wa Mungu ukifika unaweza pata. Hiyo ni kweli. Sasa tumekuja kwa kunyenyekea na kwa njia ya amani kuongea nanyi maneno machache. Kura ni yako iko mfukoni mwako. Hakuna mtu anaweza kuichukua kingugu. Tumesikizana. Kwa hivyo nisikilize nikusikilize kisha uamue ni wapi utapeleka kura yako. Sisi katika azimio kinara wetu Raila Amolo Odinga anasema kila mkenya atapata matibabu awe maskini awe tajiri. Mpango inaitwa Baba Care. Na mnajua mambo ya matibabu inataabisha jamii nyingi. Mkiwa na kitu kidogo mnauza kila kitu na kuachwa hata bila fees na bila chakula. Kwa hivyo matibabu ni muhimu. Tena mpango wa zile nyumba au familia, zile maskini wa mwisho, wale hata chakula wanashindwa kujinunulia. Familia kama hizo kila mwezi watapatiwa shilingi elfu sita angalau waweze kuwa na chakula. Nikwambie kazi ya Raila imetambulika Afrika mzima kwa sasa yeye ndiye mtala wa kupatia mawaidha Africa Union kwa mambo ya infrastructure. Ulinza wenzetu kijiji gani wamesifika kwa kuchapa kazi. Hii ni timu ya wachapakazi Waziri Munya juzi juzi akapatiwa wizara ya kilimo. Acha nyorosha majani chai. Acha nyorosha kahawa. Anaingia sasa kwa miraa na mambo mengine hata mchele. Huyu ni mtu atanyorosha ukulima na watu wa mlima Kenya. Ngome yetu ile muhimu kwetu ni ukulima na biashara. Zote ziko kwa vijana yetu waziri mmoja. Usiambiwe sana maneno ya East na West ya Mount Kenya. Kule kwetu Kirenyaga watu wengi wako na ukoo na watu wa darakamili wako na ukoo na watu wa meru hata kikuyu yetu iko na lugha yenu kwa hivyo tuko pamoja ukiniona hapo umjue umesimamiwa Na viongozi wa Kenya kwanza leo pia wamezuru maeneo ya Nakuru na Nyandaru wa kujipigia debe na kuahimiza wananchi kuhusu muhimu wa kupigia mrengo huo kura. Tusikilize baadhi ya kauli walizotoa. Mulikuwa na college moja peke yake ya teknolojia hapa Oljoro Oroka hapa. Si kweli? Leo tumejenga technical training college Kipipiri, tumejenga technical training college eh, hapa sahi tunaendelea na hapa ya Walkalao si namna hiyo it is it is going to be complete very soon na tumejenga four technical training colleges hapa Nyandarwa kwa sababu tunataka vijana wa Nyandarwa wajipange na masomo ya elimu na ufundi ndio tuwapange na ajira tukienda mbele tunaelewana watu wa Nyandarwa tunaelewana bile bile katika hospitali yenu hapa Nyandarwa hakukukua na equipment yoyote tumeweka equipment pale ya milioni tano ili watu wa Nyandarwa wasisafiri mpaka Nairobi kutafuta matibabu matibabu yote ipatikane hapa Nyandarwa hapa Olkalao ne ne duraibi dania ne duraibi dania tunaelewana na ndio mimi nimefika hapa leo na hawa ndugu zangu. Si mnaona msali amtapati yuko hapa. 
Semunaona Moses Wetangula yuko hapa. Semunaona Alfred Mutua yuko hapa kabana wa kule. Semunaona Moses Kuria yuko area. Sirigadi Gachagua yuko area. Sisi wote tumefika hapa. Ili tukubaliane na wangwana wanyandarwa. Uhuru ni mwerevu sana. Ni mweleze kwenye gani? Niseme? Unajua? Uhuru alisema ataenda retire. Uhuru alisema yeye akienda retire ataenda na kitandawili. Na mimi nimepima, nimeona vile Martha ametembea kirinyaka, mama yu ni magumu. Ametembea meru, mama ni magumu. Mimi nimeona kumbe, uhuru ni mwerevu. Vile alisema watenda ritaya na kitandawili, kumbe ni ukweli. Ama nyinyi mnaonaje? Serikali ni ya Kenya kwanza? Munataka mutu ambaye na shika staring sasa? Na ye ni nani? Ni nani? Ebu ni onyeshe? Ni huyu? Ni huyu? Wanasema atameanza kupanda. Anapanda wapi? Hapa nyandaro hamepanda. Wanaanza kuleta elimu ya porojo kwa wanainji. Zizi tunawambia tumesunguka Kenya mzima. Kutoka kule ingo western. Tumeenda mpaka plani. Tumeenda hapa rift valley. Tumeenda kule nyeri kila mahali. Watu wote wako Kenya kwanza. Na wakulima wa mahindi katika eneo la Moiben kwenye mpaka wa kaunti za Wasingishu na Elgeyo Marakwet wanahofia huenda au kukadiria hasara kubwa kutokana na viwavi jeshi kuvamia kaunti hizo mbili na kuharibu mimea shambani. Viwavi hivyo ni pigo kubwa kwa wakulima wa mahindi ambao pia walikadiria hasara kubwa kutokana na kiangazi. Wadudu hao wamevamia mashamba ya mahindi katika eneo la Sirgot Moiben. These worms uh, in, uh, in answer could destroy the crops. It is really very discouraging. Again, we thank the media. Now we encourage the government to take uh, immediate action. Ili waesu kusaidia wakulima kulingana na hii muda. Kwa hivyo ningesema Ministry of Agriculture wa take action. Ili wakuje area hii waweze kuokoa wakulima na kuamasisha vile vile wakulima vile wanaesa kuspray crops na, ku, na kuprotect this kind of Unawana wame malisa, wana elegea kumalisa mahindi, hata wana malisa mpomoja na nyasi yote. Hata ngombe zetu sitaangamia, hata nebia grass, kila kitu inaangamika kapsa. Asa ninaonelea kwamba, Ministry of Agriculture, wafanya juhudi, waletea sisi dawa. Ikiwe sakana hata tukute tu spray sisi kama wakulema, ama hata ndege iletwe. Isi, isi dudu sinakuja sinangamiza mimea zetu takriban eka karibu eka mia, e, e, mia moja na e, tuki, e, tukijanga kwa wale wakulima ambao walipata kurudi kwa mashambani tunaona ya kwamba ni asara sana e, kulingana pia na ile e, matarajio ya wakulima kwa mwaka huu tunaona mazao ya tarudi kuwa ni, ni, e, ni chaje sana kulingana na file our expectations ambao uwa tunapata kutoka kwa ma, ile, ile mazao yetu na wakulima katika maeneo kadhaa kaunti ya Nakuru wanakabiliwa na wakati mgumu wakati huu mvua inapoendelea kunyesha kutokana na ukosefu wa mbolea ya bei nafuu. Wanasema hali hii huenda ikaathiri kilimo msimu huu na kusababisha kuwepo na uhaba mkubwa wa chakula kutokana na gharama ya juu ya mbegu na mbolea. Miezi mitatu iliyopita serikali ilizindua mpango wa kutoa mbolea ya bei nafuu kwa wakulima lakini cha kushangaza ni kwamba wakulima wanadai mbolea hiyo haijawafikia. <laughs> Saa hii tunatarajia mahindi iwe juu hata maharagwe na tunaona kama itakuwa msuri sababu tu saa hii kuna mfua hata unaona huko kwa milima ile mfua imekuja sasa ndio tunafurahia Mungu tunamwambia atusaidie 
sababu hapa iko sida sana ya maji fertilizer kwanza ndio iko juu sana na sasa tulikuwa naomba kama tunaweza kuagusiwa kidogo sababu hata wengine wanapanda bila fertilizer tunaona sasa mwaka itakuwa ni mzuri sababu mahindi imebea vizuri ma, ma viazi imeanza kutoa maua na maharagwe si baya kwa hivyo Mungu akitujalia tusikose mvua sana tena sinyese mingi sana mwaka huu kuna mafuno na sekta ya elimu ni baadhi ya sekta ambazo zimeathirika pakubwa kutokana na gharama ya juu ya maisha nchini. Idadi ya wanafunzi ambao wamesitisha masomo yao imeongezeka huku mpango wa serikali wa kuwafikia asilimia moja wanafunzi ambao unajiunga na shule za sekondari kikabiliwa na changamoto kubwa kutokana na mzigo wa karo. Kulingana na mbunge wa Gilgil Martha Wangare ukame pamoja na idadi kubwa ya, wana, ya wazazi na walezi kupoteza ajira ni baadhi ya changamoto ambazo zimeathiri elimu katika eneo hilo. Kwa jimbo hili likinyajui na tumaini kwamba yuko mwaka counseling most of them are for nursing and also uh, nutrition. Nilikuwa na max 351 KCP naenda Moy Girls Sindo mas kwa nimeenda shule juu mama hakuwa na pesa hakupata school fees na fraya juu nilichukuliwa na equity nitasoma changamoto za hii mwaka imekuwa ngumu zaidi sisi katika CDF tumeweza kuchukua watoto moja najua equity pia wamechukua wanane sasa elimu imechukua watoto moja kwa hivyo wametupiga jeki kubwa sana katika kuhakikisha kwamba tumetoa watoto wetu manyumbani wasihangaikie huko na wanaenda shule ambazo ni boarding schools ambazo ni za mabweni doa watoto katika miaka nne ijayo watakuwa kitoa nafasi za kusema vile wameweza kuperform na vile wamefanya na niseme tumeona kwamba watoto ambao wanapewa ufadhili wa kutoka form 1 mpaka form 4 wanafanya vizuri zaidi na mimi nasema hivyo sababu naweza sema ile team ya watoto ambao tulichukua 2018 tulichukua watoto 24 yule ambaye hajaenda university nafikiri ni mmoja tu ambaye amepata C minus wale wengine wote tunaweza kuwapeleka university wamepata B plus B kwenda all the way mpaka C plus kwa hivyo nasema wakipewa ufadhili wanaweza kusahau shida za nyumbani wana focus na masomo na inakuwa ni rahisi we have done over 47000 scholarship for education and we are requesting for other other companies to join on board and well wish us so that we can support our needy kids we realize that there are so many people out there who are willing to learn but the parents are not able to take them to the schools they have been admitted so we are requesting also the government to see if we can also be matched with other sub counties who are getting bigger numbers na kiwango kikubwa cha umaskini katika kaunti ya Samburu ambacho kimechangiwa mno na kiangazi kilichosababisha mifugo wengi kuangamia kimewafanya wazazi wengi kushindwa kuwezesha watoto wao kujiunga na kidato cha kwanza kutokana na mzigo wa karo. Mbunge wa Samburu Kaskazini Alois Lentoimaga ameishinikiza serikali kuhakikishia wanafunzi ambao wanatoka familia maskini wameendeleza elimu yao licha umaskini ambao unakumba familia zao. So I uh, don't just take it for granted. We appreciate what uh, what we have been doing. my boss. I am going to go to 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 my boss. I to go to tulikuwa hapo ilikuwa ni maskini sana hakuna kitu chochote cha kwenda shule apili yangu ni kwamba serikali itafute namna urgently kwa kama kama iko njia dharura na ningeomba county commission hapa pamoja na ministry of education wafanye mobilization watume chiefs watume village elders watafute wale watoto wako shule wako nyumbani sababu ni wengi sana wengi 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 saidi kwa sababu ya hiyo mambo ya vuvati na mambo ya drought ambayo imeathiri sisi juzi. We received over 370 applications for those uh, the players for us to offer this scholarship but out of that we were only able to give for 22. So what I'm calling upon is all the stakeholders in education within the Sabulu county to come together because for those who left it doesn't mean that they were not they are not needed. They actually need it, but because the number of slots are only 22 we only to give those ones. So we left others who are still uh, very vulnerable and we have that list so I call upon any partner any stakeholder who may wish to to support any other kid may come to us we have the list but to give talking about to 
appreciate and be able to send these uh, students to school. Na viongozi mbalimbali wameendelea kumchinikiza kinara wa Wiper Kalonzo Msioka kubadili wamzi wake na kurejea kwenye chama cha muungano wa Azimio. Mbunge wa Budalangi, Rafael Wanjala, amesema mrengo wa Azimio unamheshimu na kumtambua ama kutambua uongozi wa Kalonzo huku akimtaka kukubali nafasi iliyopewa na Raila Odinga. Kalonzo ni wakati wako. Ile Raila amekupatia ushike mkononi, shika, usiachilie. Na ile unimekwambia usisahau na ukisahau ndege itaruka na utakosa kitu chochote na wewe si tuko na heshima na wewe umesimama na baba tunakuomba uendelee kusimama na baba usisikize hao watu wanakuambia there is always another time kwa sababu wakati huu makamu wa rais atakuwa tu mmoja na wewe ile kitu baba amekupatia ni kitu kubwa wewe ndi utachunga ministers wote kwa cabinet ya baba. So hiyo kiti ni kiti kubwa. Kwa hivyo tunasema we rudi ushikane na wenzako ili tuende pamoja. Na mahasimu wa siasa za kaunti ya Kitui, gavana wa sasa Achari Tingilu na aliyekuwa seneta David Musila wameapa kuzika tofauti zao na kuhamasisha wakazi wa kaunti hiyo kupigia kura Raila Odinga katika uchaguzi mkuu wa mwezi Agosti. Wakahutubia wanahabari katika afisi za IBC mjini Kitui, wawili hao wamesema kwamba azima ama azma ya eneo hilo ni kuwa ndani ya serikali na ni muhimu kukosa ili kuliko kukosa kuwa popote na maslahi yao kutoangaziwa. Uh, azimio candidates will respect one another in our campaigns and also campaign for the presidential candidate for Azimio. And uh, as she says we are the two the only two Azimio candidates and therefore that suggests that we must be friendly. Therefore there will be friendly fire in between the two of us I think and that's why we we are standing here to consult as members of one uh, political union he's running as governor of Kitui on jubilee ticket i'm running on NAC ticket and all those two parties are in Azimio. the other party is Uda is our competitor and the other party is um, Waipa and the wiper has disengaged and say that they are not part of Azimio. So we, the two candidates, gubernatorial candidates for Azimio, must continuously consult. We, we, we are not enemies at all. We first and foremost want to make sure that we are going to win the national government and we are both campaigning for Raila Amolo Odinga. Na wizi wa mifugo katika mpaka wa kaunti za Kisumu na Kericho umeshuka kutokana na jitihada za ushirikiano wa wenyeji ambao wanahakikisha mifugo walioibwa wanarudishwa kwa wenyewe. Hata hivyo jamii kutoka kundi lililobuniwa la Kipranitich mara nyingi ushirikiana na maafisa wa serikali kuwapata mifugo walioibwa hususan sehemu za sondu huko Kericho na Nyakach huko Kisumu. Kundi la Kipratich jina linalomaanisha mtu aliyerudisha ngombe aliyeibwa inajumuisha watu waliojitolea wakiwemo wazee, wanawake na vijana. Between uh, the two communities so far we have been able to reduce that cattle theft to the minimum level. Uh, a group from Sigowet Division, uh, residents from the community are called Kiprandich, the Kiprandich group. These are men and women and youth who have volunteered themselves to get the information that cattle has been stolen from the neighboring community and they are able to repatriate it back. Immediately they get information being assisted with our anti stock theft unit and this has really helped the communities see that the thief or the thieves who are doing this are thieves not a community per se for the last one month i should say that um within upper nyakachi division we have had a case a case of uh, 
around five cows, which have all been recovered by our Hebo ASTU team in conjunction with the chief's assistant chiefs, village elders, and uh, Wanainchi of Goodwill. Na mtazamaji tueleke kaunti ya Busia. Mwanafunzi mmoja wa kike mwenye umri wa miaka 14 ameokolewa na naibu mmoja wa chifu kutoka kwenye ndoa aliyokuwa ameozwa kwa lazima na mamake mzazi katika kijiji cha Indoli kata ya Nasewa eneo bunge la Matayos kaunti ya Busia. Mwanafunzi huyu ambaye alipata alama 325 kwenye KCPE aliokolewa na naibu chifu wa kata ndogo ya mabunge ni ubunge la Matayos Josephine Juma kutoka kwa mwanamme wa miaka 25 mamake pamoja na mwanamme huyo wako mafichoni na wanaendelea kusakwa na maafisa wa polisi Kwanza sababu halali re primary school na nilipata 325 marks na mamangu alinyoza na bado mimi ni mdogo niko na 14 years Na sub chief alikuja kanitoa huko hivyo. Nilikuwa nimekaa huko kwa muda wa miaka muda wiki moja. Venye alinitoa huko hivyo akanileta hapa akajulisha watu children's department. Sasa mambo ya shule ilikuwa baada ya mimi licha ya kuwa niliitoa busiada. Mambo ya kwenda shule ilikuwa maji walitaka budget shopping yote na tulienda hadi kwa shule wakasema nafasi yangu iko lakini ni must wapige shopping ya kwenda shule yote lakini tulishinda tukupata usaidizi wote baada ya kupata hiyo information niliweza ku proceed mpaka kwa hilo boma nikapata mtoto na niliweza kumuinterview kutaka kujua baadaye mtoto alikubali akasema story yake akanileta story yake jinsi alivyopatikana katika boma hilo ya kuwa aliozwa na mamake mzazi so katika hiyo hali kitu ambayo nilifanya cha kwanza niliweza kuchukua hiyo mtoto na nikapeleka kwa sahanati ya nasewa kisha baadaye niliweza kuripot hiyo kesi kwa polisi alafu baadaye niliweza kuna kili, ku, kupigia children's department ambao walikuja immediately na mnatumai washukiwa hawa wawili mama ya msichana huyu na vile vile kijana aliyemwoa watachukuliwa hatua kali za kisheria mtazamaji tupata mapumziko mafupi na kisha tarejea na taarifa zaidi usiene mbali